Hey, I'm back with another episode of my video blog. So for those who are new to the blog or who need a reminder, I'm Fox and I'm a henchman for Dr. Apogee. And Dr. this Apogee week I want to talk- Dr. is a trademark of Apogee Enterprises. Okay, that's milk from legal. Uh, I guess Dr. Apogee found out about my blog, so he sent Dr. him Dr. here Apogee to is a keep an eye on of Apogee me. Enterprises. You, you said that already. You should be saying it every time you mention Dr. Apogee's name. Dr. Apogee is a trademark of Apogee Enterprises. Hey, I, I should? Yes, it's important to enforce trademarks in order to maintain them. We wouldn't want Dr. Apogee's trademarks to fall into genericity. Dr. Apogee is a trademark of Apogee Enterprises. Um, okay, I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Please see that you do. Uh, so, um, as, as I was saying, uh, this week I wanted to talk about the uh, training regimen that all the henchmen go through every morning. So there's this obstacle course down by the permutation chambers. Permutation that, that, chambers is a trademark of Apogee Enterprises. Which is a trademark of Apogee Enterprises, apparently. But the uh, the worst thing about the obstacle course is these robotic alligators, which I just found out Dr. Grease likes to call K-Androids, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because they're not really androids. K-Android is a trademark that... of Apogee Enterprises. Do you have a list of trademarks of Apogee Enterprises? Because that might make things easier. Of course. Okay, that was supposed to be just a, a sarcastic rhetorical question. I didn't think you'd actually have a list. Oh, of course I have a list. Wait, Fox is on the list? Yes. You should feel honored that Dr. Apogee has decided to consider you a sufficiently valued part of the brand to warrant protection. Dr. Apogee is the trademark of Apogee Enterprises. But, but I mean, you can't trademark the word Fox. Well, no, that's not how trademarks work. It's only in the context of henchmen. No other employer can have a henchman codenamed Fox, but people can still talk about foxes. Or about Jamie Foxx, the actor? Uh, my real name is also on the list. Well, yes, we don't expect your real name to become public, but thought it was best be best just to protect it just in case. So in what context is that protected? Can I not use my real name? Well, when do you use your real name anyway? Asparagus? Asparagus is a registered trademark of Apogee Enterprises. I am pretty sure it isn't. Well, admittedly, in this case, not yet. That application is still being processed. Uh, so is that another only in context thing? Like, is there a henchman named Asparagus? Because if there is, I haven't met him, but I don't know all the henchmen here. Also, if there is a henchman named Asparagus, I kind of feel sorry for him. No, this is an entirely different case. We intend to trademark Asparagus for a variety of common applications. But I mean, you can't do that, can you? It's uh, Asparagus has been around for, actually I don't know how long, is it like a relatively recent hybrid? Or something? No, asparagus has been around for thousands of years. In fact, in colonial times, it was commonly called sparrowgrass, which you'll notice is also on the list. Um, Bottom of page three. Why is that on the list? Just covering the bases. Uh, okay, but if, if asparagus is an everyday word for something that's been around for thousands of years, then I'm pretty sure you can't trademark it. Under normal circumstances, you would be correct. But we believe we have found ways to convince the relevant personnel at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to cooperate. Uh, besides, why would Dr. Apogee want a trademark on the word asparagus? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to disclose that information. Anyway, I guess I'll end this week's episode here, and so I'll just go ahead and say goodbye. Also, you forgot to say that Dr. Apogee is a, is trademark, a trademark of, of Apogee, Apogee Enterprises. Enterprises.